Hi, welcome to Auntie Pat's Kitchen. We're going to make some really nice, gutsy, very pizza-y things. Lovely, easy, easy Saturday evening meal. Um, because you obviously have roast on, well, most people have roast on Sundays, but we're all different. Um, we'd like to point out, though, we would like you to be very, very safe with your knives with hot fat, with hot ovens. Please don't put your knives when you've used them into a washing up bowl because that could lead to severed fingers and we really don't want any of our people that uh, use our film to worry about things like that. So if we can now get on, I've got tomatoes, cold meat, I have garlic salt, I have Italian herbs. I've got cheese, pineapple, that cheddar by the way. That is just good old plain mozzarella, if you call it plain. In here we have a tin of tomatoes. Because of what we're doing, I only use the small tin because otherwise you can open it and may not get to use the rest of it up, so that cuts back on weight. If you decide you need a little bit more for how many of the pizzas you're making, by all means, open more. I've got him, a pepper. I've got red, I've got green, I've got orange. With the peppers, I just cool them, slice them, and they're ready to add, get that bit of colour in there, give it some oomph. And of course, my little salad bits. They're, they're good, they're good. Anyway, I'm going to get those buns out of the oven now and we'll start and build them. Hi, what I bought is some ordinary baps from the shop, rolls, whatever you want to call them. Cut them in half, put them into a warm oven to just give them a nice little crust, nothing specific. Um, so what we'll do is we'll add some herbs to our tomatoes. And add the Italian herbs. After all, pizza is Italian. And we'll just give those a quick mix. Also in my tomatoes, I did put tomato puree. Um, it, it's just a, a slightly more intense flavor it gives these. So I'm gonna go to the drawer and fetch myself a spoon. They're on the world's most messiest cook you've ever come across. And probably unprepared as well, but that's me. What you see is what you get. Just spread this over that. I'd say a small tin of tomatoes, probably, you have to say a pack of stick. You could put it on as thinly or as thickly as you want. Some people like a lot of tomatoes, some people don't. But again, it's each to its own. I hope you're going to enjoy this experience with me. Um, some of the equipment I use is available on our online shop, so please feel free to visit the shop and purchase. We've got some really lovely goods on there, and we try to source them a bit cheaper for everybody who's living on a budget. It's not rocket science, really. So if we start with our meat, let's 
do a nice. And I know pineapple is a bit of a bone of contention, but I like my pineapple. So we'll do some with and some without. Just really, it, it's not imperative, it looks like it, you've had this served at the Ritz or whatever. You know, you're trying to feed somebody and it's not always easy. We understand the things that are going on. And even more this last year with COVID, it has just made it so hard for people to get what they want. The other thing I really would like to mention is don't be afraid in any supermarket to go, to go in and go for those stickers, go for those labels. If it's cheaper, grab it. There's nobody going to say anything about that. I even know millionaires who use charity shops. How did they become millionaires? Probably questionable, but that's the way it is. Yep, it's, you know, it, food is, well, it's quite worrying to a lot of parents, which I understand. It's the sheer cost and everything. But I want to try and make sure that you, you actually get a fair deal. And if you really want to lobby your supermarket for taking that plastic packaging off our food, it would last longer. Um, I, I really advocate that. I've, I've, I've had years to collect my kitchen utensils, but <laughs> what I do like is the fact that I can go into a charity shop support charities and buy kitchen stuff from them. You know, it, it's everyone, it's each to his own. But we'll get through it. Also, can I add that we'd like to contribute a question and answer uh, session, which be done maybe once every couple of months and there'd be no cooking that day. But there'll be, um, there'll be the information that you require. If there's a recipe, as I've said before in my introduction, if there's a recipe you like, please feel free to share it with me, especially if you're frightened of making it, and then we can all cook along together. Um, it's everything. We want to be there for if you've got a sewing problem, a household problem. We're there for any problems you might have. So please feel free to contact us. We'll try to be available as often as we can. Um, and this is somewhere actually where I'd like to involve um, People in their senior years say she, ha, ha, ha. Um, I'd like, if you've got recipes you think that help these young carers through the awful times they're going, um, please, I, we just need your, your help. I need your help so that we can help you. Um, like I say, you know, you want a budget, a button sewn on, you want a hem sorted on a garment. There are loads of ways around it, and I would do my utmost to cater for that. Now, let's talk more pizza. It's so, like, it's a bit of a subject at the moment for pineapple, but it's there. You can either have it or you don't have to have it. It's entirely up to you. So what we're going to do today is just make one of these with pineapple, with pineapple and ham. Um, 
They'll do for Piggy in a minute. Because I will take I love pineapple. And what we need to do now is we're gonna knock up now um, a nice just common garden cheddar and tomato on here and and I'll show you some ways of knocking up little garnishes to make food that bit tastier. So that's our cheese. I'm sorry if I seem really nervous, but I am, I am, I am. <laughs> now that one's got just a nice plain cheddar on it. And the one without. We'll do some mozzarella. I'm really lucky to have <laughs> Sorry about this, but we've had some technical problems. Rich seems to follow me and Louie wherever we go. Um, but what, just to recap what I've done is I've topped the pizzas off with their tomato, their um, meats or whatever. Obviously, you don't have to use meat. You can do veggie versions and whatever. Um, but now, so now I've just taken the pizza buns out of the oven and I'm going to plate them up, and make them look gorgeous. Bear with me, please. That's just me. <laughs> right. So here we are. We just put our peppers on. And just a mishmash, just a bit of colour. And peppers again are very good for you. It's it's all these foods that we probably don't think are good for us. Especially when we're younger. Ooh, you won't catch me eating that. But then you get older and your taste buds change dramatically. Um you just get those peppers on. Nice little lunchtime meal if you eat at lunchtimes on weekends. Um, it's, it's just really to try and give you an idea of what you can achieve. Um, you know, if you like what I've done, please like, subscribe and share. It will make all the difference to us and we want to make a difference to these young people that don't have life. We want them to have a good time, time to be children. And this is why I say, um, this is where we'd like the mature generation to get in touch. Recipes that you learned when you were little and wanting them. If you can post them to us, that would be fantastic. Well, I think we're just about there now. It's been lovely speaking to you all. Um, I'm pleased, can I say, would you like to visit our shop and see what we've got on offer on there? Wonderful goods, all just lovely, but we've managed to source them at a cheaper rate for all of you because money's tight. Well, thank you very much for watching. Look forward to seeing you next time. Bye-bye. Take care.